Hey, welcome to the uh, second stage workshop. Back here again. Towards the end of the week, I like to have a bit of a tidy up at the end of each week. Uh, just try and stay on top of uh, everything that's happening in the workshop. So, just putting a few things away. Obviously the kaboom we used the other day. And just uh, go back there for now, and I gave the floor a sweep, and we've got a few of the cars out the front. It's got a rather interesting car that's coming in today, so let's pull it in, and we can have a look at that. So we've got Chris's little uh, rally car. This is for doing charity-type uh, rally events. <laughs> it's pretty cool. It's like jacked up on some big wheels, roof rack with uh, all the bits and pieces you need uh, for out and rally. And uh, we got a job this morning to reinstall the ball bar on the front with an aerial. And also we want to make like a reasonably elaborate uh, centre toe hook point. So if he does get stuck while he's out, I don't know, driving in sand dunes or something, it's really easy to, uh, to hook up and, and get out. So that's the job for today on, yeah, a little bit of an interesting, different Corolla. Um, normally they're low and loud and go sideways, but this one uh, goes into uh, sand and off-road and is really high, but uh, yeah, let's get stuck into it. So Chris has supplied me with a, uh, a tow hook that uh, it's only rated for four and a half ton, which I don't think is going to be an issue with the, uh, the little Corolla, but we need to make a mount for this to go on and he'd like it in the center of the car and a little bit higher, so if he's got the nose buried into something horrible, it's just an easy hookup point to get him out. Now, um, he's done half my job for me and supplied these rather nice um, laser cut 12mm plate uh, that we're going to bolt to the original um, toe point and um, from there we'll fabricate something up for the toe hook to go onto. So I'm going to get these bolted onto the car, it gives us a starting point and we can start to make some measurements and go from there. It's got the uh, plates mounted up and the ball bar back on just so we can sort of check out clearances and things. And the goal kind of is we want the hook reasonably high, so say he buries the front into a sand dune or something like that, uh, this hook here will be easily accessible. So I'm going to bend up some tube. So I've got some tube here, uh, whack it in the uh, old tube bender, chuck a bend in and then uh, we'll go from there. So I love the tube bender. It's uh, easily one of my favorite tools in the shop. And to be honest, between you and me, I just kind of find uh, reasons to use it because I like to use it. Anyway, uh, we've got our bend here. And I uh, just run a string line to sort of give me the center of the car here. And um, I've given myself a fair bit of what we call green, a bit of leftover on the edges here so I can mark it out because uh, these angles are a little, little bit different. Everything's not 100% square with just how it mounts to the uh, body there. So we'll mark them up and cut them and start to, uh, to fit it. But now that's tacked on, um, it's not going to be moving anywhere. We want to look at uh, how we're mounting the hook. So I just spent a little bit of time making out a template out of cardboard. So we'll transfer that over to steel and cut it out. And that's going to be a fairly large bracket there that will allow me to spread the load of uh, pulling an entire car out of a ditch rather than just a small little bracket. So we'll uh, make that up. Right, so I had a bit of a distraction. Uh, Second distraction is uh, my wife came and brought me a delicious coffee because she's the greatest person in the world. So uh, it is good coffee too, actually. I've got a place around the corner, which is awesome. But um, just chucked up a new sign. <laughs> oh, check that out. So good. And 
I changed this 14 as well. I have this really old manky 14 sign that I've always hated, so I um, got the sign riders to make me a new 14. So super stoked with that. Um, guy came around who made the sign and gave me a hand putting it up and I didn't film it because we just need to get the job done. So there we go. But yeah, I've got a um, A-frame out on the street as well. So pretty stoked. Uh, good little distraction, but uh, we've got to jump in and get this Corolla finished. So Chris can come and grab it. So let's get stuck into that. So Chris has asked me to uh, mount this um, aerial for him as well. But it's a really long aerial. It is only a tiny car. So he did actually request if we can maybe get that fixed onto the mount that we just made. So um, I'm just going to mount it on there. So Chris has made the mount. Um, I'm just going to tack it in place and weld it up once the um, bracket's off the car. So let's get that into position and weld that up. So this is the bracket turned upside down. Now obviously the uh, tow hook's getting um, mounted to this and I'm going to have a reasonable amount of weld around the front there but she's going to take a fair amount of load so the goal is I'm going to make myself a little, um, couple of little braces back here that will put the load of the hook into the back of the uh, tube there and I think that should just be a little bit stronger for, um, you know, if we had a snatch strap ripping this thing out of a out of a hole you need to make sure that uh, these brackets aren't just going to fail so let's over engineer them and uh, go from there bit of arts and crafts end up with a little bracket like that i think that'll sit in there just nicely tuck away you won't see it lovely let's cut them out of steel right so i just finished welding all this up um, as you can see full weld around here and um gussets and that that we were just cutting out a second ago but I'm not happy with relying just on a weld on this um, oh. so I'm not happy with relying solely on a weld for what can potentially be taking lots and lots of load so I'm going to put a last gusset in here um, just to sort of spread a bit of the load of this getting yanked potentially with a snap strap a snatch strap getting yanked out of a big hole somewhere. Um, I don't want to put loads of stress on a single weld, so we'll uh, put a, a uh, brace in here and just sort of spread some of the load out at the corner, and I think that will probably be sufficient. I mean, she's a pretty little car, but it was nice to sort of uh, tinker away and, and make this like that. So, yep, yeah, I'll uh, cut some last braces, weld them in, and away we go. Just gave it a quick spray. Um, just to make it look a little bit nicer. Uh, Chris did say he was going to do it, but I don't like stuff leaving the shop not painted. So, quick spray, let that dry. Uh, so, yeah, you can see uh, your gussets in there will help me sleep much better at night when uh, this thing's getting yanked out of a big ditch. So, there we go. That's that all sorted. Next part of this job is to get the bash plate on. So I'm gonna chuck the car on the hoist and get underneath and um, he's already got a bash plate. We just gotta fit it. Hey everybody, so this is it. Hey, we're at the end of the week. Uh, thank you so much for uh, watching these videos. I was trying something a little bit different this week. Uh, I'll try and punch out a few, sort of keep you guys um, up to date with what's happening here at the second stage workshop. So if you've been watching all them, I really appreciate it. Um, if it's something that you like, please let me know in the comments. The feedback does sort of help me uh, gauge all that sort of stuff. So um, we're also over on Instagram. So check out Second Stage 86 at Instagram. I try to post up uh, pretty pictures. And I'm also over on Facebook at Second Stage Fabrication. So check that out. If you need any work done, uh, if you're in the Adelaide area, South Australia, and you need an exhaust or a roll cage or anything in between, uh, please send me a DM on either Facey or Instagram. And also, I know that you guys are building cool stuff and you have your own cars that you're um, really passionate about and um, really happy with. Send them to me on Snapchat, Second Stage 86. I love seeing what you guys are up to. I love seeing all the different types of race cars and road cars and just car culture in general and uh, all those sorts of things. Um, a lot of guys sort of hit me up with a few little tips um, or like looking for a little bit of advice, which has uh, been heaps of fun. I've really been enjoying that. So thanks, everybody. Hope you have a fantastic weekend. Uh, take it easy. Second stage out.